I was a corporate trainer for a decade and a half. And often I would find that my introduction of icebreaker games or games for learning were met with some surprising responses. I don't know anything about games. Play a game? Um, no. I was often very surprised by the responses to the invitation, let's play a game in office, workplace training, or in the classroom as I became a graduate student. People ranged from wild-eyed fear and trepidation to a flat-out refusal to play any kind of game. I've attended many serious games conferences where games are used to train corporate employees, and they had much the same feedback. Participants were terrified of looking stupid in a setting where games were being played. One of the reasons I focused my PhD research efforts on board games is I believe the stakes are very high. People with gaming literacies do better in the work world and in school. There's a spate of research that I've encountered that talk about the outcomes for corporate training for school activities often are correlated to those who have previous extensive experience with games. That's because training and learning materials are now using gamified elements. So literacies in gaming become a very important life skill, but not everyone gets to enjoy gaming and gaming experiences. It is so critically important to assume nothing and to assume that everyone is starting from ground zero when it comes to games, game systems, game mechanisms, because not everybody has access to those literacies. I grew up in Northern Alberta in an evangelical community where regularly my friends were not allowed to touch playing cards, roll dice. This was seen as sinful. So assuming a gaming literacy, assuming people understand what playing cards are, what dice rolling is, how to play video games, is a very poor assumption. Not everybody has the access to the same gaming literacies. And certainly where I grew up, I know that the gaming literacies were, were zero because it was actually seen as, again, a sinful act to participate in any kind of gameplay whatsoever, uh, from playing cards all the way through to video games. So making sure that you're very mindful of a lack of gaming literacy in the wider learning audience is incredibly important before you start. There's a lot of discussion right now in the board game community in North America, in the hobby space, about this notion of the teach. It's the moment where folks believe you can win or lose new or potential board game fans. The moment where you're teaching someone a new game. And there's lots of funny videos about how this can go horribly wrong. The tremendous amounts of complexity, the games within games, the mechanisms of board games are becoming more and more complicated than ever before. And one of the key points that many commentators in the board gaming space in North America talk about is the teach is the point at which you win or lo lose new players. So you have to be incredibly mindful of where your audience is coming from and calibrate your teaching and game experience accordingly. Assume no basic knowledge of gaming literacy and work from there. I know only too well having the embodied experience of being the only woman at the table, the only woman in the room, how it can feel really hard to try a new thing like a brand new game. And so I try to bring that to my teaching practice. I get comments in my research like this one which is being included in a game you want to learn when they don't want you there can hurt as much as not being included. This particular instance, this individual talked about a three-person game, not a four-person teaching game. It was their first time attending and the organizer insisted I join them. And I did want to play, but I also wanted to be wanted. It can feel so hard whenever you try a new activity to feel that sort of radiating annoyance from the maybe more veteran players at the table or um, the more veteran people in that room. Being 
inclusive is incredibly important and you need during that teaching experience to really bring it down to a beginner level for everyone.